Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Auto Amateur. Here in sunny Minneapolis this week, I managed to finally get on my aero kit from Bumper. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, so welcome back. So yes, after a couple of weeks of planning and a couple of weeks of getting parts and then uh, getting the part painted, my new aero kit from Bumper is now on the car and it is looking slick. I'm so excited about it. I hope you like it too. In this video, we're gonna be doing the removal of the factory bumper. We're gonna be installing the new factory bumper. I'm gonna show you all the different things that need to be ported from the old one to the new one. I've got some new equipment. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really, really excited about how this has come out. I think the new front bumper has given the car a really cool kind of more aggressive edge to it. Uh, now, one of the reasons I went the route that I did by finding a $500 salvage bumper is because I was trying to see if I could save myself a bit of money. And uh, I think overall I probably have. Um, the brand new part runs for about $2,500 or more. I picked up the part for 500, but then I had to spend $800 or so on getting it painted, another three or $400 on some of the hardware for it to um, fit on the car properly. But I would have had to have painted the, uh, the factory part as well. So I think when it all is said and done, and I'm gonna do the math and show you here uh, during this video, uh, hopefully I will still come out on top. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna take off the factory bumper, we're gonna install a new one and check it out. <laughs> front of the naked 911. Um, we've got our two condensers and radiators on either side below the headlights. Now in the middle where you can see the very edge of the frame and the chassis, there are other cars that come with a third radiator and you can buy the third radi radiator kit and it basically taps into these pipes that run either side with the coolant. Uh, now that can give your car, you know, efficiencies in, in uh, temperature cooling and you know all that sort of stuff. Some people love to do that mod, it's relatively straightforward. You've got a nice big open space there to put the radiator in and you tap one of the pipes. A lot of people are pretty cynical about it. I quite fancy tackling that job just because technically it's quite interesting to me. Uh, right now I'm not gonna bother, but we're gonna put the, uh, the air vents on and then we're gonna start taking a look at the bumpers. So let's take a little look at this. If I'm right, there's a condenser on one side and a radiator on the other side. And you can actually take this whole thing apart, but the chances of there being significant degree, uh, you know, debris behind this, I think is relatively limited. But look, we've got a squash bug. We've got a Hornet. We've got a lot of crud sort of caked up around the side, but in actual fact, they're not actually too dirty. But it'll be worth just giving them a good vacuum with my uh, shop vac just to get the majority of it out but that was that was super easy so no no bolts just all of these little clips and i started on the side and sort of worked my way around and then this sort of popped off so now I'll just do another one uh on the driver's side and then we're good to go again let's take a look at the driver's side condenser uh more dead hornets crud around the outside but they're actually not too dirty uh, got a lot of rock, rocks though, and other stuff on the bottom. So 
I'll give these a quick vacuum and then we can get the new air ducts on. Well, that's it for another mod video and another video here at Auto Amateur. Thanks for checking in. Good question though, for myself, I think, what should I be doing next? People have been suggesting I do the ducktail, uh, maybe. People have been suggesting it's time to now flip this and move on to a second generation 991. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But more content coming soon, regardless of which Porsche it's gonna be on. Take care, get out and drive. See you soon, bye.